to backing off his statements. Well, well, but this is the thing: we we're going to need some black men in law enforcement. So I, I can't just when if you're a cop, things are a little bit more ambiguous as far as what your agenda is. But when you're a prosecuting attorney, there's nothing ambiguous about it. <laughs> it's a very clear thing. There's nothing you really have to figure out. No, and, no. and like um, now we got somebody named Russian Concussion who commented. He said, <laughs> got to be as, as sovereign individuals, not collective. Now, looks like he's a white man by his picture. He said, mm -hmm. Dr. Martin Luther King said, judgment based on character, not color. Okay, now what now what what's the uh now he kind of messed up when you know by not capitalizing the K and King, then that could have just been a mistake, but that could be a person <laughs> trying to say something. But I'm not gonna put that on the I'm not gonna put that on the dude. I'm not gonna put that on the dude. Yeah. But but this is the thing. Yeah, there is something about your character when you are a woman that goes to be a prosecuting attorney. That does show something about your character. You pick that avenue of law. When you know 100% for sure they're going to present black men in front of you to get locked up. That's what they're going to do, period. You don't but, even have to question it. That's what's Robert, going to happen. What I'm saying is they, they know that. I know. They, they know that. And there is a support mechanism for black women um, who, who do that. They they know what they're doing and they are supported by other black women. Just like you, we were talking about the election. They knew that uh, Kamala Harris had um, aggressively gone after black men. They knew that Biden had the 1994 crime bill. There's a culture within black women that tolerates that. What, what and and that's what I'm saying. For you know, you can argue different things in different avenues. And Russian concussion does say, hey, sorry, meant Dr. King. Okay, appreciate your Russian concussion <laughs> for making that correction. But I was I was just kind of joking about that, brother. I, I didn't think you did that on purpose. I really didn't believe that. But you know, and I do believe that you you're probably just one of those white guys who who do believe that character should matter. I and I totally get that. But if character matters, then no woman should want to be a prosecuting attorney. Because that means her character is not anti-black man. To be a prosecuting attorney, you know for sure you're gonna you're gonna have black men presented in front of you, whether they're actually guilty of the crime or not. You know there's a big focus on black men. That's what's gonna come across your your desk. So no woman should be in the position to have to to help black men get put away. When it comes to men, we're all men at the end of the day. Men understand justice and, you know, you we got to hold other people accountable and things like that. That's absolutely fine. This is just something a woman should not be involved in. Women need to be involved in something else. But to be a prosecuting attorney, I'm not saying they can't be lawyers and, and deal in law. They can be defense attorneys. They can go into corporate law. There's a lot of other areas in law that they can go to by being an attorney. But for women, it women should have a character that's, that does not include trying to lock up the other, the, well, the men of their group. So if you're a black woman, because of how the gym, the criminal justice system is corrupt, that's just something you shouldn't pick as a job. Period. And, and black men should not be accepting of black women picking that as a job. Because that's what it is at the end of the day. It's a job that you're picking I need to live. I need to earn money. I need to do something to, you know, fulfill myself as a person or whatever it is you're doing when it comes to getting a job, whatever your thought process is. But for you to, to say that I'm going to take a job where the goal is to lock black men up. No, you can't. You can't. You shouldn't be a woman in that position. OK, no woman should want to even bear that burden to say, I'm going to be one of the people trying to lock the black men up. That shouldn't be left up to women. I don't mind men holding other men accountable. That's fine. But women don't need to be doing that. And black people shouldn't be dealing with women who choose to do that in our community. Point blank, period. Now, see, Russian concussion ain't black. So if they women, they women ain't got to be concerned with lock, blocking up a bunch of white men. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> They're going to lock some white men up, but there, there's definitely no focus on white men being locked up. That's not a focus. So you can be white and not have to worry about that. 
it makes all the sense in the world. But when you're black, no, you can't do that because the focus is us. All right. Shout out to Marco Ross, who says another great topic. The lady literally argued with the judge not to see him as human, but as some kind of demon who should be put away. Absolutely, Marcus. I, I mean, absolutely, Marco. And that was the that is a huge problem. OK. And black women shouldn't be in the position to even have to make an argument like that. OK. Black women should never have to be in that type of position. All right. This is something that can be left up to the men to handle. All right. Being a defense a defense attorney is lucrative. You know, folks put you put a lot of money into trying to stay free. That's for sure. So it's not like they can't make money on the other side of the fence. All right. And I understand, yeah, you want, you know, there's political careers out there, and some people want to go into political careers. It's not like you can a uh, defense attorney can't get elected into other offices. Okay. Defense attorneys can be elected into other offices as well. Being a good lawyer is going to have a benefit to you, period. Okay? And guess what, y'all? People like the those who fight for the underdog. So there is going to be an issue here when you're dealing with black women choosing to be prosecuting attorneys. Because your character does come up to question. And as a black man, just realistically speaking, I don't want to be around a woman, and I'm not even saying from a relationship standpoint, y'all. Well, that's and that just happens to be included. But why would I want to be around any black woman who thinks it's okay that for her as a career to be a prosecuting attorney? I don't think black men should be comfortable with that. I don't think black women should be comfortable with that because we know how the system is. Now, if the system was fair, it wouldn't be a big deal. It just it really would not be a big deal if the system was fair. You know, if uh, people coming across the desk actually represented or was a very close representation of of people in America, I don't think it'd be much to think about. If black men were about six percent of the uh, the cases that come across your desk, or even seven eight percent, because black men are only six percent of the country. So we should be 6% of what comes across your desk as a prosecuting attorney. If we lived in that type of situation where things were being done fairly, I don't I wouldn't have an issue with it. But that's not the situation we live in. 6% of men are making about half the cases. Okay, well. As far as the people getting locked up, they say about 50% of us is, is in the prison system. I, so let's just say that to be a little bit more accurate, okay? But if 50% of us can fill up the pr the prison system and we're only 6% of the country as black men, yeah, uh, keep in mind, black folks are only 13% of the country, 6% men, 7% women. That's your 13%. So if 6% of the men can be half of the prison system, then there is a definite focus on black men. It just is what it is. All right. So why would we want our women to have to deal with that? Okay. Why would, why would we even want to put women in position that she would have to be concerned with getting a black man locked up? Again, these are going to be her brothers, her cousins, her sons. Her father, who knows? Do we as men even want to leave this up to our women to deal with? Now, we as men, again, we're going to, men focus more on justice. So we can see a woman or a man who comes across our desk and we can prosecute them fairly. Yes, we can be trying to get the convictions and all that, but we can do stuff more fairly in a system that's not that's uh, out to get us because we understand that the system is out to get us. We we have that understanding. But women have a point to prove to white supremacists because they're raised in a country where white supremacy is taught to basically everybody. Okay? 
it's not every single person, but if you're a normal person in America and you went